Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about repairs and maintenance of a Water Boss High Efficiency Water Softener, specifically how to test the flow sensor. These Water Boss High Efficiency Water Softeners will give you extremely long service life and are extremely reliable, but you may run into a situation sometime in the future where you want to test the flow meter. Now I'd like to also mention that we do offer free shipping and discount pricing. If you just click the link up here, it'll take you right to our e-commerce website. Water Boss High Efficiency Water Softeners are a metered water softener. So in other words, they measure how much water you use and then the regeneration is based on that. So the more water you use, the more regenerations. The less water you use, less regenerations. So that's what makes it highly efficient is because very low water usage, very low salt usage. So we can start by removing the lid. You put your fingers in at the back, lift up and pull it away. So you need to make sure that the bypass valve is in the service position, that's this arrow pointing towards service, and then you need to run some water in the house. So what should be happening is when you run some water in the house, this little green light down here sh should be flashing to again indicate that there's flow uh, through the system. If it is, then everything's working correctly. If it's not flashing, then there's some kind of a problem uh, with the system. So what you would start to do is you would remove the flow sensor which is inside here. This is one little screw that you need to pull out. And then when you pull it out, this is the flow sensor here. So you can test it by running a magnet. So this is a magnetic screwdriver. So when you run the magnet over here, then this light should be flashing. And uh, so if it is flashing, then there's a problem with the turbine inside here. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the turbine here. And uh, so it has a small magnet embedded into it. So as it turns, it, it uh, turns past this flow sensor and that's what indicates flow. So what you would need to do at this stage, you'd need to remove the screws on either side here to remove the bypass from the valve housing and to free up this turbine because it's probably jammed with uh, dirt or something like that is keeping it uh, from turning or you would need to replace it. If you're not getting a flow once you ran the, the magnet across here, then you need to replace this flow sensor. So in the top right corner of this um, video, if you click that link, it will take you right to our e-commerce store. We have free shipping and discount pricing on replacement uh, flow sensor, or if necessary, the controller, or even the little turbine. All right, so once you've replaced the flow sensor, then again, you would check this with a magnet. And now you should be getting the flow here, the green flashing light. If you don't get it, that's an indicator that the controller itself needs to be replaced. To replace the lid, you just hook it in at the front and snap it down at the back. If you're looking for some more help with maintenance and repair of a Water Boss High Efficiency Water Softener, just click the link up here. That'll take you right to our playlist. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all new videos that become available on this channel. I'd also really appreciate if you could share this video with your Facebook friends. For some more information, you can go to our websites, either thewateristore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.